to whom it may concern. Today is August 27th, 2021. Tonight will be one year since I dropped a two-pack-a-day habit. Marlboro Special Blend Reds, the shorts. Two-pack-a-day. And I just dropped that shit like it was nothing. Because I knew it wasn't going to serve me in my future. I remember looking at that last one and I pulled it out. I opened that third pack. I, I put the, the Lucky back in and I pulled out that first one. And I was going to light it. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, this isn't going to serve me in my future. It's only making me cough up shit and, you know, have more labor breathing. If I had still been smoking and came up here to the mountains, I would not have been able to do it. <laughs> I, I already have enough problems with, you know, breathing. That, uh, yeah. I dropped a cold turkey. I didn't have one, like, temptation, one urge, one desire. Because I knew in my heart that it wasn't going to serve me in my future. Here I am a year later. How many packs could, you know? two, three packs a day that I could have been smoking. It's a lot of money. It's like... It's like a car payment, man. It's like 350, 400 bucks a month. To fucking smoke and just throw it away. It was disgusting to me. I mean, yeah. I chain smoked a lot in my little depressed corner. Sitting in my little chair in the garage in Phoenix all summer long. It didn't matter. That was my my one safe spot. Back to the wall. See all the exits in a place that I'm comfortable with and nobody comes through. So, as you think about how strong you are on the inside, it's not how strong you are today. It's how strong you're going to be tomorrow because of what you do today. So if you're able to, to drop something like that that isn't serving you in your future... That isn't going to serve you in your future. That's strength, my friend. Pure, unadulterated strength that comes from within, not from from the outside. So, I put a challenge out there to anybody else that has been wanting to quit something in their life that has been holding them back. There we go, guys. Like today, it feels fantastic. Yesterday was a fantastic day. I felt actually changed like actual healing went on in my heart like like some darkness fled because more light was in there <laughs> pretty good feeling today I want to grow on that and keep moving forward because I can't go back I can't go back death and destruction only lies back there it's like Putting one of these wolves back into a tiny kennel that they've been used to a giant enclosure. It's, it's, I can't do it. I, nothing is going to hold me down that I don't allow. The only thing I want to hold me is love. Let me give you a quick little view of my. So I wake up. So I'm in my van, right? And I usually have my door open, but it's nasty because I've been gone for two weeks. I just kind of threw all my shit in when we got back. This is what I open up to every morning. I look at Jupiter's Lounge over there. You can kind of see it through the trees. That's where I'm going to be building and fixing up to move into. I'll show you more of that. I've got this view all around. And then up here, we got this giant mountain. We have the sky pan, the house. The sky pan's up there. That's where Bane, Drogo, and Gamora are. And Lady and Ranger are up there. Yeah, this is my view every day. Anyway. So, my friends, and not my friends, people that don't know me, I challenge you today to 
do something to improve your life. It may be a small little effort that you may think that, but later you keep doing it, it builds up to the point of freedom. To not be chained down by an addiction, not be chained, chained down by a substance, and not be chained down by your mental ambiguity, ambiguity I can't pronounce Your mental demons. That was an addiction that I was just sitting in, and just letting them fucking run around me and taunt me and tell me about all the bad things I've done and remind me day in and day out. I don't want my demons to run off. I don't want to chase them away. I want to fucking put a leash on them and throw them on the front of my cart and make them pull me through the rest of life. Because if they've already been here with me this long and, and have that deep rooted in me, it's time to make them work for me. To pull me in the future and not fucking drag me down through it. It's just a choice to consciously do it. To, to, to not let them win. To be stronger than them because they've made you strong. Now you just have to find that strength within you. Just like I have. Just like I am. It feels pretty good. I can't wait to let more out and, and show more of the, the, the hell that I've gone through to get to this point because it, it can help somebody else. And it's the only way I'm going to let it out is be, because I know it's going to assist somebody else. Anyway. These videos are really long. I'm going to keep having to put them on YouTube, but I'll, I'm going to do some TikToks. I think I'm going to redo my TikTok video today, but anyway, nothing but love, my friends. Airborne all the way.